Hey KiwiCo viewers, it's the Chan Clan and we have another Eureka Crate. This is Build Your Own Table Tennis Robot. Now table tennis is a fun pastime. We do not have room for an entire table, but we have this robot that we can hit balls back into and they will shoot them out and we can use this on our dining table here to simulate a ping pong table. And David was able to put this all together um, from this little box here. Paddles are even included and also a bunch of ping pong balls. And what this ends up doing is shooting them out. Your goal is to hit them back into the net and if you can get in the net, then, voila, table tennis robot. Let's talk to David about his experience building this and any tips and comments about this, and we'll give it a whirl. All right, David, tell us, what did you build here? What is this gizmo that uh, KiwiCo sent to us? This is a uh, automatic table tennis robot. AKA ping pong. Yeah, ping pong, pretty much. And it's got a net. <clears throat> and in which there's, it's connected up to a motor which automatically shoots out the ping pong balls onto a surface where you can hit it back. So basically it's playing against yourself when you have no one else to play against. Then you can hit it back into the net. It'll if fall you can. Okay. We just tried it out. It's kind of tricky. And then another problem is that... out but <clears throat> if it falls back down it'll go back through and be shot back out it fires at about i don't know decently fast so we'll have to keep up with it all right so your old man used to play some table tennis we'll see if this works um we're gonna have this thing actually we'll scoot it back a little bit because we tried it out and actually it's pretty far. We're going to give you like a first person perspective here. This is like first person demonstration. Um, how do you go about uh, turning this on? So, so the wooden slider is actually the on off switch, huh? Yes. And the battery packs built into the bottom with a little motor with a plunger right in there that plunges out the ball back and forth and the balls roll down by gravity, right? And fall into this front area where it flips it out. So, all right, David, you're going to try to shoot it at me? Let's, Let's see, see if using the switch from the see motor. if we can get that. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, I got one. All right, it's got to drop one down. Oh, got one. Oh, too high. All right, I'm not going to any Olympics. Yeah, there you go. Uh, two for a couple, I hear. <laughs> David, you want to try? Let's reload. We'll have David give this a whirl. All right, David's going to try. See if he can do any better than his old man. Yeah, not so much, huh? <laughs> Zero. Zero. Oh my goodness. All right, round two. Uh, okay, final round, we're gonna do doubles. So I'll go and David will alternate. Here we go. Let's see if we can get more than two. Oh, oh David. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, zero. All right, well played, well played. In the end, the table tennis robot won. And we're not going to any Olympics playing table tennis, ping pong, or whatever you want to call it. But this was a cool Eureka crate. And for the fact that they included two full-size paddles, a whole bunch of ping pong balls, uh, table tennis balls, and this cool contraption, um, this was a very intriguing and unique build wouldn't you say david yeah so favorite part about this build um, probably the 
probably using it <clears throat> because at the very end it's very fun to be able to just see if you can keep up with the like 60 you know times it wrote 60 rotations per minute so in the end that's usually the most fun part but there's still a couple problems with that as when you end up hitting it back in it sometimes tends instead of if you don't hit it here you hit it up here it will bounce out okay the durability of this build was a little flimsy we did have a break here that we had to splint with another popsicle stick to keep the net up uh, you can see what we did there but nothing a little bit of glue or in this case a zip tie an extra popsicle stick didn't fix um, and not seen is that your brothers like to play this a lot too so this one has replayability value uh kind of fun game version just like the uh you know the uh what is ping it the, or not the ping pong the pinball pinball. pinball had some fun replay value whereas a lot of the other eureka crates are desk ornament or objects of utility this one is definitely of entertainment so out of five what would you give this david Maybe a three and a half, but that's just because I can't use it. Okay, three and a half. Three and a half because the tennis table robot beat you and us and us both. All right, guys, if you like our video, subscribe. You can check out our whole series of Kiwi Crate videos. We have a huge back backlog of kits. They're all stacking up. Uh, but guess what? The pandemic's uh, back in full roar, and I think we're going to be making a lot more Kiwi Co. Uh, videos as the kids go through their backlog of crates. Uh, hit the uh, description below for a uh, link to subscribe to Kiwi Co. Uh, you'll save some money on your first uh, subscription, and that will also help support our videos. All right. Leave your comments below, ask us your questions, and we'll see you next time on the Chan Clan's Kiwi Co. videos.